that journey to that end destination of traders mastery uh, i'm going to talk a lot about that today and there's lots for me to share uh, with you for that so um you know those of you joining us here in the uh, zoom call and in the room it's great to have you here those of you joining us on the uh, admons youtube uh, live streaming service fantastic to have you here as uh, as well great to have you uh, all here uh, and you know just uh, don't be sure if you're watching this on youtube just uh, you know don't forget to, to actually you know sort of uh, subscribe to the uh, admiral's youtube channel it should be on the buttons there beneath us okay uh, make sure you know if you like the uh, the session give us a thumbs up or even if you know it's not for you Give it a thumbs down. That's okay. You know, we we appreciate all the feedback. All right, and uh, just uh, just you know, as I said, give us a subscription. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, and what you'll also find is that there's some details down there, which will just give you uh, insight into uh, all sorts of uh, resources that uh, admirals will be able to uh, to offer you. But. As I said, great to see you all here today. Uh, it's a it's a fascinating uh, topic, and uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's crack on, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? So, just uh, bear with us a moment. And what we'll do is I'll bring up the slides, and we'll uh, and we'll get stuck in. So, I'm hoping this uh, this will uh, come up here for us. There we go. Um, just bring this up. Excellent, excellent. So, um, as I said, hoping that you can now all see me. Hoping that you can now all uh, hear me. And let's talk about the trader's journey. And in particular, we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of education, mentoring and uh, and coaching. And uh, as part of a as part of a bigger and broader conversation all right, about the, uh, the the trader's journey in itself. And uh, uh, great to see you here, Vincenzo, joining us as always. OK, and um, thanks for all of you here. It's, uh, um, you know, as always, I say, I appreciate we have a um, We've got a wide range of people who join us for our uh, sessions here. Some people, you know, right at the uh, beginning of their journey. Some people who've been you know, trading for a long time, uh, and that's that's great. Okay, that's fantastic. Hopefully, um, regardless of however long you've been trading for, there'll be plenty in here today to sort of you know take away from. Or maybe it'll resonate with you in terms of your own experience, okay? Or you know, perhaps I'll just give you a little bit of insight into what might be ahead of you and how you can be kind of, you know, forewarned is forearmed, as they say here, okay, here in the UK. And, uh, you know, that uh, that can sometimes help you uh, avoid one or two of the pitfalls that uh, become some traders uh, on their own particular journey. Um, it'd be interesting to know, as I said, for people here in the room with us, you know, uh, you know, how's your journey been? Okay, how far are you into your journey? How long have you been trading yourself? Just you know, pop it up there in the old chat box, okay? Or put it in the commentary box on the uh, the YouTube live uh, stream, okay? Just uh, you know, how long have you been uh, trading, okay? And uh, you know, what have been what have been some of the the highlights? And perhaps even low light, you know, low levels of uh, of your own particular journey. Okay, as I said, we're, we're we are all on that journey. Okay, and uh, I, I'd actually uh, I'd uh, hasten to add that I you know I don't think that journey ever ends. Okay, I think we're always those of you who are trading, you're always on that journey to improve, to get better, to actually sort of develop yourself both as a you know both as a human and as a trader. And uh, so that gives us, um, as I say, that gives us plenty to talk about, uh, plenty to talk about today. So, um, you know, here we are with uh, Admirals, all right, okay, a, uh, you know, Forex CFD broker with a wide range of financial instruments for you to trade, okay, giving you a global presence with local support. Uh, they are licensed and regulated across a wide range of regulatory environments, providing competitive spreads on the most popular trading products uh, and giving you the opportunity to engage with markets using MT4, MT5 uh, and the Admirals Supreme uh, Edition. If you've got any questions about Admirals, then please get in touch with your account representative and they'll be very very happy to help and guide you. Uh, and as always, there's, you know, there's always a little bit of uh, new news, okay, from Admirals. Uh, one of their uh, elements, the, the new latest pieces, is uh, the ability to copy trading, okay? So uh, um, if you are interested in either, uh, you know, letting people copy your trades or you're interested in, you know, copying, uh, you know, successful traders, well, then that is now becoming available through uh, from Admirals. And uh, if you uh, go onto the uh, uh, Admirals uh, website, you'll be able to find greater details about that. Uh, and you can also find uh, Admirals on uh, Instagram now, all right? So we're uh, at Admirals Global. So if you're a, a keen user of Instagram, then uh, be sure to uh, give us a like there. Make sure you follow uh, and you'll find, you know, plenty of updates about, you know, a market, about these sessions uh, and what particular resources they uh, they, they are offering to, to traders. So uh, be sure to check them out. So <clears throat> what's on our agenda today? All right, what are we going to particularly focus on? Well. 
going to talk about the different stages or steps of a of a of a trader's journey. Um, it maybe you might be aware of it. Maybe you're completely unaware of it. Maybe it, it'll be news to you. Maybe it'll actually just you know give you an opportunity to work out where you are on that uh, on that kind of trader's journey at the moment. We'll talk about you know some of the common pitfalls to traders to avoid. You know what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to be doing there is actually sharing some of my own experiences, my experiences, you know, as a, as a trader, my experience as a you know, fund trader and my experience, you know, coaching, education, med- mentoring traders over the year, uh, over the years. OK, so um, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be kind of like a little bit of a session, you know, sort of poacher turned gamekeeper. Right. OK, so I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into that kind of world, which you can utilize for your own um, trading journey. We'll talk about you know some of the scammers that are out there. Okay, some of the uh, some of the kind of you know the the, the kind of the stories that are sold, uh, and we'll talk about well actually what is the difference between education, mentoring, and coaching? You know, you just um, you know if you go on to any kind of social media, you know, you know you are probably you know have an absolute deluge, okay, of uh, of you know, individuals and institutions, okay, offering you the uh, the the you know the, the sort of the the way and the ability to to reach the promised land of uh, you know of of you know of uh, of you know trading mastery, okay. Uh, and actually, what we're going to do here today is I'm just going to peel it back a little bit, all right? Just peel it back and help give you a little bit of clarity on uh, on what the story is, okay? And you know, and, and hopefully that will help you in the choices that you make going forward in your own trading. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name's Paul, right? Okay, so I've been trading for many years and on also um, educating, mentoring and coaching traders, okay, across the levels of work for funds, of work for high net worth individuals. Uh, for my own trading, uh, I primarily focus on FX indices and commodities. They're my preferred favorites. Uh, and, you know, for longer term position trades, I tend to be a, a sort of a trend trader on the, on the swings. And for intraday trading, I tend to be sort of, you know, a reversal mean reversion um, trader. So here we go. Traders, uh, the traders uh, uh, journey there at Vincenzo says fancy office location. Uh, yes, uh, it was a very fancy office. And uh, now that uh, lockdown is being uh, now that lockdown is being uh, sort of, you know, uh, removed. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to that office location. It's um, uh, working from home is nice. But, uh, you know, uh, working from a nice office is, uh, is even better. And, uh, you know, I, I am here this week. Uh, back in London physically, um, you know, for uh, for the first week in about eighteen months, and uh, you know, it's been actually it's been great to sort of get out and see and and connect with uh, traders. And uh, listen, you know, wherever you are in the world, okay, I hope that uh, you and your families are, are safe and well and have made it through this challenging last eighteen months. And uh, you know, I, I'm I, you know, I speak on behalf of myself and admirals. You know, we're we're hoping you're all happy and healthy uh, and all ready to to return to, uh, to to whatever the new normalcy looks like for us but um and, you know, and, and that <clears throat> that that last 18 months uh, will have undoubtedly had an impact on uh, the trader's journey okay you know there will be there'll be some people who have you know were trading beforehand and have found it found it challenging because there may be changes in circumstances there will be some traders who've traded well and, and you know and enjoyed this last period there'll be some people who've just come new to trading okay because i don't know you know maybe they were furloughed maybe they were just sent home and were looking for a new skill to acquire and decided to trade okay some of those people will have done well some of them not so much okay you know the, i suspect the people who haven't join these uh these webinars where myself and Jens and Marcus have been sharing our own uh, insights and our own you know our own sort of uh, views and opinions and and you know lessons learned with your yourselves okay you know they're kind of the uneducated traders have probably you know have probably struggled and that's what these sessions are all about okay helping you to educate you helping to give you a little bit of insight helping you to just helping you just you know just to get a little bit more focused and a little bit a little bit swifter on your own journey okay and as the slide says there, you know, <clears throat> we're all traders on our own journey, all right? And uh, listen, like any journey, okay, whether it's a physical journey, okay, or whether it is a, you know, this kind of, I was going to say mythical one, you might say that, okay, some people might say that, but, you know, this this journey you are as, as towards your, you know, end point as a trader, like any journey, all right? There are going to be highs and lows, pitfalls and dead ends, plateaus and and new challenges that will come your way it's it's just you know it's like any journey worth taking it you know these things rarely these things rarely are smoothly okay there's always you know, there's always challenges and for the uneducated there are many traps that you may fall into okay and as i said that um, you know people who've probably come new to trading 
in the last you know, 18 months or so, you know, who've been uneducated and you know, have chosen not to, to get education at one point, chosen not to join sessions like these, you know, uh, you know, they are they are unaware of the you know the traps that you fall into. And you know, I, I know I can speak for myself and I think for Jens and Marcus is that you know we're trying to basically you know offer our you know knowledge and experience to help you you know sort of navigate around some of those pitfalls on your own particular journey. And so as it says there, to help you with your own journey, we're going to discuss today several facets of that journey, okay? Because, you know, as we say here in the UK, uh, forewarned is forearmed, right? The, the, the more you know about what's upcoming, you know, the better you will be able to, to deal with it as it, uh, as it crosses your own path, okay? And that's what, um, and that's what we're looking for. So, you know, as I said, for those of you joining us, those of you uh, here with us, okay, you know, um, what have been particular high points of your own journey what have been things that may have surprised you okay maybe you you know you wouldn't have considered or you know it's something new that you've learned maybe about yourself or the world or markets you know maybe you could uh, sort of share that uh, with us okay just put it in the chat box or in the commentary just tap away there as i said i always appreciate the kind of any sort of uh, any kind of you know feedback or interaction it's always good because we can always we can always uh, uh, learn from everybody here on their on their own particular journeys so I think I might have put this slide up once or twice before over the years and stuff, but it's, you know, let's talk about that trading journey, okay? Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not you know, we're not, uh, what's the word? You know, we're not naive, we're not oblivious, you know, we're here as uh, admirals and such, you know, we, we appreciate that, you know, when, when, you know, when, you know, you open a device these days, okay? And if you go on any element of social media, uh, you know, you're going to be deluged with an absolute, almost tsunami, right okay of opportunities and offers etc um that are in many ways kind of you know uh, selling you a a lifestyle or a journey all right that is a bit like these photos that you know that you know very quickly in your trading journey you're gonna you're gonna end up you know flying to your private island on your private jet and your private yet to to be looked after by a bevy of uh, young people okay uh, whilst you get to grow old disgracefully like the uh, like the, the dodgy like the dodgy fellow in the middle of that picture okay you know i'm not um i'm not stupid you know you only have to you know you only have to open up your social media okay and look at that and you will see that there are all manners of offers and opportunities like that uh, and there are also lots of social media pages that are that are portraying that kind of lifestyle okay you know they they these you know the people on the claiming to be traders all right but <clears throat> you know i i suspect and this is my personal my personal viewpoint is that you know most of them couldn't trade their way out of a paper bag right uh you know but what it is is they are selling a lifestyle they're selling a journey and and this taps into uh you know probably you know one of the sort of deeper elements of the conversation around you know people's psychology and training psyche because you know those people that you know they're, they're selling hope right they're selling a you know a vision of this some you know wonderful lifestyle that is out there, okay, and and they're making it look that it you know that that it's easy that they've achieved it and that invariably you know you you know it, it is here for you and it'll only take twenty minutes a day and you know after six months you will be leading that kind of lifestyle, right? And uh, you know there's you know there's an old you know there's an old saying here in the UK that you know if it's too good to be true, you know it it, it probably is, and uh, you know and that's what you're looking at when you're looking at that kind of uh, those kind of offers on social media. Those pages of, you know, as I say, um, you know, invariably it's always like, you know, uh, young guys of 20 years old who are, uh, you know, driving around in Ferraris and and all the likes, okay, and uh, and you know, and it's just mostly, is you know, it's mostly nonsense, right? It's mostly nonsense. You know, it's that case of, you know, if it's too good to be true, that the reality, you know, the, the reality is 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 rarely like what they're actually uh, offering because. You know, what the reality can become for people is you know is, is a very different all right it's a very different reality from from what they you know from what those kind of scammers on on you know on uh, social media pages are offering okay as i said if it's too good to be true it probably is all right you know uh, trading is a skill all right trading is a skill and it's it's in a skill you need to acquire which means you need to work at it okay I, you know, I have been very fortunate to work with some unbelievably, you know, amazing traders, okay, unbelievably amazing traders over the years, okay, whether, whether it's been, whether I've been working with them on, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis, whether I've been working with them across trading floors, etc. Um, uh, you know, I personally, and I said this is my personal viewpoint, 
I reckon I've met maybe three people, okay, two men and women you know, over those years, who who I would consider, uh, you know, natural traders, like you know, an absolute natural at trading, okay. I mean, I don't I don't consider myself a natural at trading, okay. You know, I think most the majority of the people who are uh, you know who I uh, you know have seen and met and worked with who have been successful, you know, they have had to work at it. They have had to work at it day after day to to acquire the skill set, to acquire the kind of the mindset shift, to acquire the kind of behaviours to to become uh, you know a really good trader. Okay, so you know, in some ways, in some ways that can be frustrating for people. Because they've got to work at it, but in other ways, you know, you you, you turn that on its head and realize, well, you know, if other people can do it, then so can I. But you just have to realize that actually, it's something you know you're going to need to work at. You know, you need to acquire skill sets, and those skill sets, you know, might take years. Okay, to become a truly intuitive trader, to become a truly intuitive trader, you know, I'd say you're probably looking at like a minimum of five years, and, and probably maybe nearer to ten years. That doesn't mean you can't be successful beforehand. Part of that is about your definition of success. But what I'm talking about is, in, you know, is, uh, is you know, becoming, you know, a, a truly intuitive at one with yourself and the markets in a way to basically just, you know, sort of come in and out of markets, you know, easy come, easy go in terms of, you know, in terms of your ability to, to work with markets rather than fighting markets or fighting yourself. So you have to realize, that, you know, this is a, it's a skill set you need to acquire, you need to work at, right? And very often that can be that can be what can be challenging for 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 some people in their trading journey. Now, as I said, you know when you're looking on social media, people are offering you the fact that you know, they, as I said, you know you can be a you can be a superstar trader in six weeks on twenty minutes work a day. I wish it were that easy, all right? I wish it were that easy. The reality is very different, and and this is uh you know it's it, this is not. Um, What's the word? This is not, you know, a complete picture, but I think hopefully if you're a new trader, it gives you just a little bit of insight of, you know, what the real trader's journey is. OK, you know, where the real trader's journey is. And I think we talked about this, you know, briefly a couple of months ago. But, you know, there's a very kind of it's a very simplistic view is that, you know, there's kind of we're looking at five steps. Step one is where you are unconsciously incompetent of what you do. Now, I'm going to talk about trading it, but this could be driving a car, flying a plane, learn how to ride your bike, you know, any kind of acquiring of skill sets, you know, you're going to go through this version of a journey. Step one is you are unconsciously incompetent. You, you, you don't know what you don't know. You're going to make lots of mistakes, but you don't actually know why you make mistakes or what's going on. You know, you are, you know, you're really kind of, uh, you know, you can be a, a lamb to the slaughter if I'm being exceptionally harsh, right? You don't know what you don't know. That is step one. That step will will stay with you as long as you you know that can that could be that could be two weeks that could be two years for some people okay people go through this journey at their own pace at their own style and part of that is you know if if you're uneducated or if you don't take the time and effort to stay okay uh, you know you don't take the time and the effort to become educated you will stay at that level longer than you need to be the next step step two is you know, is what they call conscious incompetence. You you know you're making mistakes, okay? You know you're making mistakes and you know you need to improve, right? You know that, you know, you're not doing the right things. You know that there's a bigger world out there, okay? And when it comes to trading, there's more for you to actually learn. And, and this step of conscious incompetence, you know, this is what can actually take people a couple of years to overcome, all right? This is what can actually say on, on the real trader's journey, not the Instagram trader's journey, but the real trader's journey, right? You know you're making mistakes and you need to improve, right? And, you know, and you will do that. And at some point, what will happen is that you'll get to a kind of a eureka moment, right? Step three, you know, the eureka, you know, the kind of light bulb starts to, to flicker, starts to switch on for you. And there's lots of reasons for that. But part of it, especially in trading, I, th I think personally, is that you realise that, it, it, you know, it's not it's not really a trading method, trading system that's making the difference. It, it's you. All right. It is. It's you know, it's it's you and what's going on about you. It's about the way you, you know, the, the your attitude that you have, the way you prepare yourself, the way you view in your markets, the way you conduct yourself. OK, you know, your you know, attitudes, OK, your behaviours, your routines, etc to realize that it's you know it's not the system okay it's not the trading method that makes the difference it's you all right you know and that 
you know, if I'm brutally honest, that, that can be that can be a, a, a time when lots of traders would give up because they actually they realize that they realize that actually they need to change. Okay, the market isn't going to change. All right, people think that they can come to markets, the market will do what they want. It, I can assure you, it never will. It's not out to get you. The market's just doing its thing. Okay, but what has to happen is the market isn't going to change. You're going to have to change. Right, you are going to have to change. And for some traders, that is actually when they decide to step aside because actually, you know, they they, they don't particularly want to change. They don't have the drive. They don't have the motivation to change. They're actually quite comfortable. They're they are comfortable enough, all right, not to, to, to want to do the work to, to, to change. But for those of you, okay, who, you know, who are fascinated by markets, fascinated by trading, you're going to want to make that change, okay? You're going to want to step up. You're going to want to make that change. want to make that difference, okay? And so then you actually start to work on yourself, okay? You start to work on your habits, your attitudes, your behaviors, your routines, okay? You start to become more of a professional in the way that you, you know, conduct yourself, uh, in your trading business and that kind of leads towards step four which is when you are getting to a level of what they'd call conscious competence all right so you know you're you're, you're trading well you're following your method okay you are you know you're taking wins you're taking losses you recognize that is just part of the business of being a uh, trader you're not really you know totally you know affected by it they don't really you know any losses don't really knock you off your uh, off you know off your perch off your tilt etc you are just you know you're trading well but equally you're having to work at it okay you're having to work at it you're having to actually commit to engage okay you have to be conscious of what you're doing and that is, you know, that's a great place to be. Okay, that's a great place to be. It's, you know, you'll be working hard, but you'll you'll be enjoying it. And the fifth level is step five, is where you are operating at a level, as it says there, of unconscious competence. You know, the, the kind of easiest way I can describe this to people, you know, outside of trading is, you know, if you think about it, when you first start to learn to drive a car, all right, okay, you know, you, you know, you, you you were unconsciously incompetent. You just didn't know where anything worked. You were making mistakes, everything. Then you step two, you're consciously incompetent. You, know, you maybe you're trying to struggle to to, to work to the the clutch, okay, to to change the gears. Maybe you know, doing the mirror signal maneuvers, all of it. You know, it's hard work. You're making mistakes, and then you know, you have a, a eureka moment about actually, you know, what needs to happen. Things start to click, you know, and you're able to, you know, to be consciously competent and drive the car safely and operating. And then, you know, a few years down the line, you know, it's almost like, you know, when you drive a car, you are operating at an unconsciously competent level. You might even have days where you get in your car journey from home, from work or what have you. You know, you're getting your, at the end of the day, you get in your car and bang, you know, you drive home an hour and next thing you know, you're sat in your driveway and not really remembering the, the, the journey home because you've just been operating at a level of unconscious competence. And that's, you know, that is a level where you want to get to it as a, as a trader, but it is a level that takes time. Okay. You just don't, you don't flick that on. You don't flick a switch. All right. And uh, if anybody is, uh, if anybody's offering you magic beans, okay, that you can take or a plant that are just going to turn you into a step five unconsciously uh, competent trader overnight, then uh, you know, they're, they're, you know they're, they're, they're fools, all right, okay. But you know, think about that, look at that journey and, and, and be honest with yourself, be honest with yourself. Where do you think you are on that journey, all right? Where do you think you are on that journey? Well, you know, if you've been honest, put it in the chat box, you know, just what do you think, you know, which step of the way are you uh, are you at and you know and there's no there's no right or wrong you you are where you are all right you are where you are okay but sometimes just even the reality the awareness of recognizing yeah this is where i am that in itself is what will help you make the next leap the next jump okay because actually you'll recognize you know where you are and what you're working at. so uh, peter says he's at step three that's great peter um really uh, appreciate that okay that's um you know that's 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 great to know as i said there's no right or wrong. You just, you are where you are, okay? And, and, and part of this, which we're gonna come on to, part of our having the awareness is, is what actually helps you make better choices going forward. And when you make better choices, you, you tend to put yourself in a position to generate a better outcome, right? As I said, there's no, no right or wrong, there's no, no shame or whatever, you know, even if you're a new trader at step one and consciously incompetent, that's all right. Okay. That's, that's okay. We, you know, the thing is we've all had to go through that journey. You know, I, you know, I was at one point, you know, step one and consciously incompetent trader. Okay. It's, you know, it happened, you know, it happens. Okay. It's part of, it's part of the real traders journey, not the, shall we call it the Instagram traders journey. Okay. 
if this is the real trader's journey and and you know and, and it's you know you know peter just said there he's at step three you know it's good because then he can start to think well you know what do i need to do to achieve step four to be consciously competent okay because that is a good place to be right that's a good place to be and it's a you know it's a place you want to get to on your particular journey so you know with that in mind with that in mind you know and seeing where the people in the journey and you know the kind of the, the journey that is sold, the lifestyle is sold, you know, it, it, the question sometimes are like, well, you know, when does my phone really ring? Okay. When do, when do people pick up the phone and phone, you know, a, you know, a coach like myself, right. You know, and, and invariably 95% of the time, 95% of the time is because, you know, they, the person is experiencing pain. Okay. Maybe they've just had a really bad trading session or period okay and they've really just been you know they have been unconsciously incompetent and you know they have paid the price for that or maybe they've just you know they've been consciously incompetent okay you know they're, 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 there's frustration right they feel like they're in the last chance saloon there's you know they just you know they, they know they're making mistakes but they're just wanting to basically try and work out what's going on here you know how what do they have to do for a turnaround in their fortunes okay and, and very often what happens is you know because they've got people have got to some level of you know pain or frustration they you know they're calling me because they're looking for a revolution you know, they want it they want complete change they want complete total change and actually it's not all right sometimes it's not revolution they need it's just evolution okay they, they need to evolve to their next level as a trader they need to be ready to take that next step to move to the next step on that trader's journey, okay? And, and actually what they need is a little bit of help uh, you know, and clarity on how they can do that, okay? And, and so that's what we'll, that's what we're gonna talk about um, to, today. So, you know, what you find is, you know, and I, you know, as I said, I'm giving you kind of insight from my side of the, uh, Let's say you know my side of the uh, of of the of the market, my side of the you know the kind of the 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 trader's journey, namely about you know why do people call me? What is it? Maybe, maybe this will resonate with you. Maybe you won't understand it. Maybe you'll be thinking, oh yeah, you know I've experienced that. Okay, and, you know and that's that's fine. You know, listen, these sessions are here to to help. Right? I'm not. Um, you know, I'm uh, here today. You know, I'm here today as a representative of Admiral. So I'm giving you, you know, giving you all the help, all the insight. Okay, all the kind of uh, the sort of you know the back, the you know the sort of you know the kind of you know, back routes that will help you just make a little bit of progress in your own trading journey. Okay, and that's it. But you know, as I said, people call trader coaches because you know they're getting inconsistent results, right? And that in itself can be quite an interesting conversation. Maybe they're feeling overwhelmed with you know the just trading and generally, perhaps they have no real clarity on the trading plan, or maybe they just don't even have a trading plan. They've just been impulsively wading into markets without any kind of idea of what to do, or they've had rules but they're breaking the ones they do have. They find it difficult to stick with their rules and they want to understand why is that. Maybe they're experiencing extreme stress and pressure, right? Because perhaps what's happened is they've put themselves under, you know, just foolish expectations and as their inability to reach or achieve those, it just puts them under stress and pressure, which means that sometimes they can be struggling to make the right decision at the right, uh, at the right time, which, you know, when they're doing that, that kind of can all lead to a loss of self-belief self-confidence and and self-discipline right and that's you know traders get themselves into trouble you know and sometimes as i say that frustration it, it can either boil over into other areas such as you know their maybe they're you know their day job okay maybe their relationships their close relationships uh, and perhaps their own finances right and uh you know maybe they're experienced just the performance look they've been doing well but actually they've come off the boil you know and, and they're trying to understand why that all right or they've just been not been making the returns that the, the, the man on Instagram had told them that they would. Do. So there's actually quite a lot of different reasons. Maybe you've recognized them, maybe you experienced them, maybe you haven't. That's, that's, that's fine. As I said, I'm giving you just, a, I'm giving you a little bit, you know, a little bit of kind of, you know, behind the curtain sort of insight into, into that sort of side of what goes on. Okay. And, and, you know, what you might be aware of, you know, what might come your way. As I said, you know, forewarned is forearmed. That's, that's the way I particularly look at it. And then uh, what happens is, you know, trader's journey is, you know, people ask, well, you know, well, you know, why do you coach, but what, you know, why, you know, why would you just not sit there and just trade all day, every day? Uh, well, I, I can give you a couple, you know, of, of uh, you know, of, of reasons for that and give you a couple of insight into my own experience, my own personal journey is that, um, you know, I believe myself 
to be I'm a trader who, who understands the benefits of coaching. So in previous jobs in my youth, you know, I, uh, you know, when I was in the, in the military, I did a bit of, I was a bit of an instructor there when uh, my, a couple of my jobs in the city, I was an instructor and um, I was a coach in sports. So that has always been kind of a little bit of a, a background of mine, okay, of, of, you know, helping develop people. Interestingly, uh, you know, when I teach or coach, what it also does is it, it holds me to, high professional standards all right just you know they're the kind of I, you know i don't want the cognitive dissonance right i want them to be able to stand up in front of you you know and actually you know i can you know walk walk the talk as well as you know just talk it okay it keeps my professional standards high when i spend all my days talking about you know planning your trade trading your plan managing your risk not only is it getting embedded in your brains but it is also getting embedded in mine as well and so it keeps my professional standards high and it also allows me to trade for opportunity. When I sit down to trade, I just trade for opportunity. Okay, I don't need to trade to achieve, you know, financial aims. It removes them from me. Okay, and that allows me to just look at the market as a as a place for opportunity. Also, if I say so myself, uh, I'm actually not bad. You know, I'm not bad. You know, I can, you know, I, as always, I, I can be better. Okay, but you know, I'm uh, I mean, I'm pretty straight, pretty honest, pretty good at uh, you know at helping people. It also gives me some social interaction. All right. It, trading can be boring okay trading can be boring so you know i remember many years ago i had an experience where uh, um you know I, I was living in london at that time and you know i was trading from home at that particular time uh, and i think i went about three four days of just trading constantly i didn't see anybody and you know and i realized you know i live in a city of, of 10 million people and i haven't seen a human soul for like three four days that sounds like lockdown, really. When you think about it, it sounds like you know, high of lockdown. But I realised that that isn't that isn't necessarily good for me. All right, okay. Uh, even if you're a committed introvert, we are still social animals. All right, we are still social animals, and, and there is an element of social interaction. Okay, and, and being able to, to chat and work, okay, and speak with other traders, okay, gives me an element of social interaction because actually, good trading can be very very boring. And, and also, I enjoy it. You know, I see people, you know, getting better. I see people having light bulb moments. I see people, you know, actually sort of making that leap, all right, from stage two to stage four, all right, okay? And I like that. I, it's great to see. I enjoy it, okay? Because, you know, I have absolute respect for anybody who will engage with financial markets, okay, and trade for themselves, all right? Uh, you know, I have respect for anybody who will do it and does it as a business and does it professionally, okay, in terms of, you know, the way they conduct themselves, because, you know, it's 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 not easy, all right? It isn't easy, okay? So anybody who'll do that, seeing them making their progression, you know, I, uh, I really enjoy it myself. So, you know, those are the reasons, you know, I did it. I certainly never planned to, to do that, but, you know, they're what, you know, that what you know gives me some uh you know also you know some 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 benefit and some you know pleasure and enjoyment from actually working with with good people who want to, to do the best for themselves so let's say you're at a point and i'm you know, going to share an understanding here is that you know as part of that journey it, you know you might get to a point where you need an element of education and uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not in any way remotely. As I said, I'm not today. I uh, today I am. Uh, you know, I, I am the admiral's man. Okay, and I'm actually just giving you insight as to what what you might need to think about. And actually, what I think people need to break down, okay, in trader education is 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 actually EMC. All right, education, mentoring, and coaching. And I'll explain each of them to you so that you understand right what it is and actually where and if that fits into your own journey okay that's that's all just to, to give you a bit of help and a bit of insight when it comes to education okay this is for you know some of those people at stage one stage two okay in terms of education is about you know you need to learn the specifics okay you need to learn you know the actual the fundamentals of trading and the fundamentals of trading it might include fundamental analysis, technical analysis, might include, you know, just a bit of uh, mental support. What you need are educating on the basic skills that ensure you survive in the markets, all right? That's what you need, okay? Basic skills to ensure you survive in your markets. And, you know, it, you know these sessions here that we know myself and Jens and Marcus provide, and your admirals, you know, these are excellent education sessions okay because they are providing you with 
specifics. They're providing you with specifics, okay? That, you know, we constantly reinforce this good message of plan your trade, trade your plan, manage your risk, okay? Those are the basic skills to ensure you survive in your markets, okay? You know, when you're a step one, unconsciously incompetent trader, completely new, these are, okay, these are the elements that you would need to, uh, to, to work on. It, it, but you know, even for me, you know, that can be useful for me. So um, let's say let's say I decided that I wanted to go and trade U.S. Treasury bonds. OK, that you know, that was the, the next big thing. And I wanted to work in there. You know, I, I would need to go and have an element of education. Sure, I've got lots of trading experience. I can look at a chart. You know, I can make a decision and take a trade of that. But if I wanted to learn a, a, a specific market, a specific asset class, I would need to go and get educated on that, okay? And I would work with someone who was a particular focus in that area, okay? Because I'd want education on that particular area. So it's not something that, you know, you just do once and bit and, and then never have to do again. You're gonna find that you're gonna constantly require education of some sort as you go through your trader's journey, okay? It's gonna be part of it. But to begin with, when you're a step one, step two trader, this is what you're looking at, education. The next step, okay, is mentoring. And what we're we talking about as a mentor, okay, and you know, and, and I'm trying to give this clarity because, as I said, you know, you will go on to social media and there's lots of people who will call themselves, you know, trading educators, mentors, coaches, right? And and what I want to do is try and give you the clarity around it as part of your own journey, so you actually know what the score is, you know where you are. Now, my view of uh, mentoring, okay, is that um, a mentor would provide you with advice and guidance which you'd be wise to follow but you are actually under no you know you're under no uh, obligation to follow but if they're a good mentor you'd be wise to follow their 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 sage advice and what i mean by advice it doesn't mean specific trading recommendations okay you know i, I truly believe you have to take full 100 percent responsibility for your own trading decisions okay you you have to it's part of it it's part of the learning point of becoming a trader so when i say a mentor might give you advice and guidance that is not about specific trading recommendations oh you buy here you sell there etc a lot of that mentoring is actually about helping you save you from yourself all right a lot of that what it comes back to saving you it's about making sure you are doing the good things that basically saves you from yourself so you've moved from you know from let's say survival mode now you're in acquiring mode okay you're in acquiring mode you're looking to acquire the skill sets that the knowledge the behaviors that allow you to prosper as a trader okay you need to develop an understanding of those four m's of trading which i've talked about you know for the last 18 months or so you need to understand you know, the markets methods money and about myself all right and so it's a it's a next step up okay they will provide advice and guidance you'd be wise to follow but you're under no obligation to right you're under no obligation to so it's you know it's different from purely being educated and being told you know this is the specifics xyz this is about you know sort of developing you okay developing your skills okay developing your understanding of those particular four ends and then finally, there is actually proper coaching. And, and, I, and I say that as proper coaching because there are lots of there are lots of people out there on social media, on Instagram, who will describe themselves as a trading coach, but, but actually they're not, all right? They, 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 they might be a trading educator, but they're not a real trading coach because a, a good coach will understand coaching principles, all right? And a very simplistic look at it, you know, coaching principles is about, as it says there, the art of facilitating the performance, learning and develop of another person. And so, you know, a good coach, a proper coach will understand those coaching principles, all right? And here, it's more about, you know, the coach mainly asking questions and challenging the coachee to help them find the answers from within themselves, okay? based on their values, the preferences, and their unique perspective, okay? So it's another level, again, all right? It's goal-centered, client-centered, and it's focused on results. And my own experience of this is, you know, from being coached myself and from coaching people is that, you know, this tends to work best when a trader already has a recognized edge in the market. They know what their edge is. They are able to, you know, they are at that kind of stage four, step four, conscious competence level, okay? 
is that invariably that's where coaching tends to come in because it's 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 starting to stretch the individual it's starting to basically you know ask them questions of, of, that reflect their own experiences from within those answers will come okay if i try to coach someone who is a completely new trader who's never you know he's only traded for two weeks they don't know what they don't know okay they they are still at a level of acquiring skills okay they're still actually at a level of trying to understand you know how they put a trade on how they you know how they analyze a market okay trying to coach them to get them questions from within themselves is, is perhaps not necessarily what you know the what that person requires someone who's completely new needs an element of education they need to learn those specifics whereas someone who might have been trading for you know three five six seven years you know they're at a place where they actually need a coach a coach who will basically stretch them and help them achieve those new goals okay and has them focused on those particular results so hopefully you can see a little bit of the difference between education mentoring and coaching and maybe that might sort of give you a thought about well you know where are you you know what would you need why would you even need to because, well, we'll come on to that. So, you know, um, this is uh, this chap, Robin Sharma. He's not a traders coach, but he's, he's written some very, very good books. One of them is The Greatness Guide. And, and I've always loved this particular quote from it, namely that with better awareness comes better choices. And with better choices, you'll see better results. Clarity breeds success. And, and I truly believe that. And I'd say, go and read, you know, go and read The Greatness Guide. It's not about trading. But actually, as you read it, a lot of it will think this is pretty applicable to trading. OK, and, and that is what a good coach is doing is, is actually helping a trader, whether regardless of whether they need education, mentoring or coaching, it is helping them raise their awareness. Because with raised awareness, you are in a position to make better choices. OK, and as you make better choices, the likelihood is that you give yourself the best chance to see better results. Right. And that clarity success so it's a very simple very simple quote but i think it's um, i think it's you know it's very pertinent it's very applicable to trading and, and pretty much to to anything any kind of new skill or endeavor that you want to engage yourself with you know whether it be trading or not okay even though i might learn photography or coding or whatever whatever takes your fancy ladies and gentlemen you know i think that is actually you know it's very clear it's very it's very good and i think it basically helps a, a great deal okay when it comes to working with people and, and helping them develop to be the best that they can be so with that in mind okay and as i said you know giving you the benefits of my experience i thought what i'd do to finish up is give you a little you know a little bit of hint a little bit of insight into some of the challenges that i've seen when people you know people call me up to, to talk about trading so i'll share that with you give you a bit of insight once again as i said it, it might resonate with you you might think oh I'm, i've never heard of that if you haven't the likelihood it's, it's going to be part of your journey at some point all right it's part of it but here's one of the first ones i see is that you know new traders they're very overconfident and underskilled okay they're overconfident and underskilled and what that happens is that leads to poor expectation management because the expectations they set up on themselves and about trading okay you know are just wholly out of whack with the skill base that they have and very often what you'll find is that if they have got any goals for themselves, they are usually outcome-based, right? And maybe I'll do a future piece on OPP, okay, outcome performance process and how you trade how good traders utilize that. But as I said, if the goals, it's usually outcome-based. You know, oh, Paul, you know, I want to make you know a thousand pips a week in the FX markets at you know at 20 contracts each and bloody blah, blah. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna buy myself a big house and a speedboat, right? You know, it's usually outcome-based, okay, which might be fine to get you started. But doesn't won't take you to jail. What it does is it leads to incessant watching of their profit and loss. Okay, they're watching it go up and down and up and down. All right, and that emotional roller coaster manipulates their own confidence. Okay, so when their P and L is up, they're up. When their P and L is down, they're down. Okay, that is no way to lead your life. There's no way to trade markets. Okay, so that's one of the things I've uh, particularly seen in, in in young new traders which very often sometimes can lead to one of the other challenges I <coughs> excuse me have seen is that you know new traders doing too much over trading you know they're excited they're loving trading they're enjoying it they're learning new skills they're fascinated by what's happening and in their mind they get into a mindset that you know well Paul you know if you know the more trades I take the faster I'll get to where I want to be no 
sadly, it doesn't really work like that. Okay. Certainly, you know, at the start, maybe when you're doing demo trading, you might be taking lots of trades. Okay. Because it helps get you and you learn how your platform works. You learn how the markets work. You learn how to put on trades, manage them, etc. That's fine. But actually, as you get better as a trader, you know, you go from being like, I talk about it, you know, you go from being, you know, uh, uh, from a Rambo machine gunner, like literally spraying trades like bullets, like Rambo does in his movies, to being, you know, more like a sniper. Okay, you know, you, you know what your setup is, you know what you're waiting to look for. And you're actually, it's about, it's about quality of trades rather than, uh, rather than, the, rather than particular uh, quantity. Okay. Uh, Vincenzo says only expert advisors can handle more than five trades at a time, in my humble opinion. Um, well, it, it, you know that I wouldn't. Well, I have seen I have seen I have seen some traders who, uh, you know, in fact, you know, I work with one trader, and you know, she handles about seventy positions at a time, and uh, she's exceptionally good. All right, I have also worked with people who, you know, who who have the capacity to only really you know, operate with two or three positions because any more than that is too much them because they're levels of capacity. So, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say there is a, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, a, a complete hard rule on that, but certainly as a new trader, okay, over trading, too many positions, too much risk, too much leverage, not enough risk management, that tends to lead to, to poor outcomes, okay, to poor outcomes. So, you know, it's, um, it, it's, it, it's part of that is about finding your own place on the risk profile spectrum, right? And, and you know, maybe that's, maybe that'll be an interesting topic to, to look at, just, just looking at people's risk profile in the year, uh, in the future, but over trading rarely ends well, okay. Um, one of the number three challenges I see is, you know, amateur traders, okay, new traders, they're always thinking, how much can I win? How much can I win? Their, their focus is on outcome, how much can I win? Professionals are always thinking, how much can I lose, all right? Professionals always take money from amateurs. And I don't mean professionals as in, you know, an institution or, you know, an amateur being a retail trader. A lot of that is to do, once again, it's that eureka moment, that mindset, your attitude, behaviours, how you conduct yourself, okay, in your trading, all right? And if you wanted the the... the, the the simplest definition of trading is that it's the flow of money from from amateurs to professionals okay but here's the thing you can get okay here's the thing you can actually get a uh, you know you get to choose right you get to choose whether you're an amateur or a professional one of the other trade challenges I've seen is that that they have a uh, they have a weak strategy okay so they have no edge no real edge in the market and in fact, there's usually no strategy. They're just wading into markets, okay? Buying and selling on impulse because they have no business plan, got no trading plan. If any strategy, it's usually based on hope, okay? And further, they, they fail to keep any records. So they, they keep repeating the same mistakes. Okay? They don't keep records and then they don't review them. So then they they are shocked when they keep repeating the same mistakes, okay? You know, and you just sometimes have to give them a little clip around the back of the head just to, as they say, save them from themselves in many ways. And the final, which is a little bit like the third one, is, you know, they're an amateur with a hobby as opposed to a professional with a business, all right? They fail to see the need for success structures. You look at, you know, top sports people, top business people, you know, as they go up the rings of their levels, they don't get, they don't get fewer coaches or smaller sports structures they're actually success structures increase okay they have whole teams working with them for them helping them support them and and that becomes a massive element okay uh, as opposed to you know quite a few traders that you know they see they see trading as a bit of a hobby okay listen there's nothing wrong in that hobbies are good for us hobbies can actually give us a bit of headspace they can give us a bit of creativity a little bit of flair but think about it we usually we we expect to spend money on hobbies as a, as expect to make money from businesses okay so think about it that you know if if you want trading to be a little hobby that gives you exciting and intellectually stimulated so be it okay everybody gets what they want from the markets Etsy Cota says that and the more I uh, repeat it to myself the more he's absolutely right okay you have to think about are you a professional with a business or an amateur with a hobby and if so creating those success structures that will help you be the best you can. 
what you can also sometimes need to be wary of, you know, is if you work with an educator or a mentor, a coach, you know, some little hints, okay, and tips, all right, that I've seen or I've no experience, you know, from working with them in the past myself. Um, you know, you don't want someone on your team who, who resents your success, which might seem stupid, but actually you will find there are people out there, you know, they don't want you to be successful, okay? Uh, you don't want to be working with someone nor do you want to be working with someone who's got poor communication skills, okay, that they can't actually explain or talk to you as a, as a human being about, you know, what you're doing. You don't want people wanting open-ended commitments from you as well, okay, that's, that's, not a, that's not a smart word, okay. Nor do you want someone who has an overinflated sense of ability, all right, there's a lot of that, okay, there's a lot of that goes on, all right, you know, trading keeps you humble, all right, trading keeps you humble. And also there's an element of poor expectation management, okay? Just, you know, whatever expectations they're, they're leading you to, that can be very poor. You also have to have a little think about, you know, who is the right person for the job for you to help you? Is it a trader who understands the benefits of coaching, which is what I'd say I am, as opposed to someone who is a coach who understands trading? Because there are plenty of people out there, and there some exceptionally good people out there who are wouldn't necessarily be traders, but they are very, very good coaches and, and help you get the best out of you. So it's just a little something to, to, to think about, okay, to, to give some consideration to uh, in your own. And here, just to start to finish up, it, listen, here's a few sort of kind of final free tips from me as a trader and a coach, okay? You're going to pay for your education one way or another. Everybody does. You either pay in time or money. Okay. You, nobody gets to it. There's no escape in that. Right. If you want to be a world class trader, you're going to need a world class support structure. You know, that's just in any in any area of life. If you want to be world class, you need to have support structures around it. If you are going to work with somebody, do it earlier rather than later. And spend a bit of time being clear about what is it that you need. Is it educated? Do you actually need to be taught, all right? Do you need to be taught about that element of trading? Is it mentoring? Do you need to be advised? Do you need to be given a little bit of guidance? Or are you at a stage where actually you need to be coached? You need to be stretched. Think about that. And take your time, all right? Take your time to find someone to work with who suits you, okay? You know, just, you know, you don't, you can spend time and chat to them, okay? And get to know them. It's, that's perfectly, that's perfectly fine. What will help you and whoever you work with Keep good records, right? Keep good records and be honest with your coach about your levels of experience and your expectations. Be realistic in your own expectations. Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? You're not going to turn around your training overnight. And remember, an amateur as a hobby, a professional as a business. So in conclusion, uh, we are all on that trader's journey. It will involve all manner of peaks and troughs. It's important to understand where you are on that real trader's journey, okay? The real trader's journey. It's important to realize everyone pays for their education in one way or another, either time or money. And it's important to understand, you know, will you require education, mentoring, or coaching? And take your time, all right? If you do end up working with one, pick one who suits you, okay? Take your time, okay? Don't, don't rush into that, okay? Take your time. And you can get, you can help get the most value out of working with someone by keeping good records, okay? That will help you and it will help the person you work with because then you're quicker to be able to sort of identify the challenges you may have. So don't forget to join us next time, all right? Come and join my colleague the ends, which will be, sorry, that'll be actually on Friday. And he's gonna talk about, which is actually quite apt, what we talked about today is a trading day with a professional trader, including what his daily routine looks like, how does he prepare, what trades does he take that day and why. So that's gonna be Friday, 23rd of July, 2 p.m. London time. Check your inbox for the webinar link or go onto the uh, go onto the website. Okay, super. And as always, you can always uh, contact us there if you actually need to, you know, if you want to questions or what have you um, about this. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate we've overrun a little bit, but I was trying to, as always, trying to share as much as I can with you trying to give you as much as i can much insight from like my side of the uh, of the fence so as i say you know forewarned is forearmed giving you you know enough there for you to basically have an understanding of where you are and where you actually you know where you're actually going okay on a real trader's journey as i said there's no you know there's no there's no harm and you know there's no right or wrong it just it helps you to know where you are 
to know what you need to get next step. And if, and if you do need support, okay, what kind of support do you actually need to do, all right? Because I appreciate sometimes, as I said, you, you know, you, there's a deluge, all right? There's a deluge, okay, of offerings, all right, on social media, right? All offering you wondrous things. But the reality is, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, all right? Take your time, okay? Understand what it is you need, okay? And, and work towards it. So if you found that useful, okay, be sure, be sure to affect as my trading alarms going off myself. Be sure to subscribe, okay, to the uh, uh, to the Admiral's YouTube channel there. If you thought this was useful, it's helped you, please give us a big thumbs up. If it wasn't any use to you, give us a thumbs down. That's fine. We don't mind the feedback. And, uh, you know, be sure to uh, join us in the uh, for Yen session, okay, there, and also Mark's sessions uh, every, uh, every morning. Uh, and as always, I wish you the best of success in your own trading, ladies and gentlemen. And look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care and trade well, everybody.